Hi everyone. The topic is Introduction to OOPS and Java Fundamentals from the subject Object Oriented Programming. So Object Oriented Programming. What is Object Oriented Programming? It is a programming paradigm based on the concept of objects which may contain data in the form of fields often known as attributes and code in the form of procedures often known as methods so list of object oriented programming languages so the following table contains the most of the object oriented programming languages ada 95 fortran 2003 php since v4 beta graphtalk python c sharp ideal script ruby c++ j sharp scala gopal java simula cobra lisp smalltalk cold fusion objective c tcl common lisp perl since v5 so these are some of the object oriented programming languages that we use so first topic in object oriented programming is abstraction what is abstraction abstraction is one of the key concepts of object oriented programming languages its main goal is to handle complexity by hiding unnecessary details from the user this enables the user to implement more complex logic on top of the provided abstraction without understanding about all the hidden complexity then objects and classes so what is an object object have states and behaviors an object is an instance of a class and what is class a class can be defined as a template or blueprint that describes the behavior state that the object of its type support objects in java if we consider the real world we can find many objects around us such as cars dog human mobile phones watches books water bottle everything they are called as objects all these objects have a state and a behavior then classes in java a class is a blueprint from which individual objects are created so that is an example of a class so name of the class is dog and a variable breed with a data type string and a variable age with a data type integer and a variable color with a data type string and the method called barking the name of the method is barking so the class name is dot and it contains some variables and a method a class can contain any of the following variable types first one is local variables second one is instant variables and third one is class variables so it should contain any one of the this variables the next topic is encapsulation encapsulation is a mechanism that binds together code and the data it manipulates and keeps both safe from outside interference and misuse so that is encapsulation in java the basis of encapsulation is a class there are mechanisms for hiding the complexity of the implementation inside the class each method or variable in a class may be marked private or public therefore any other code that is not a member of the class cannot access a private method or variable so that is the use of encapsulation the next one is polymorphism poly means <coughs> in greek it means many forms <coughs> polymorphism is a feature that allows one interface to be used for a general class of actions 
the specific action is determined by the extra exact nature of the situation so the last last topic is inheritance inheritance is a process by which one object acquires the properties of another object without using the hierarchies each object would need to define all of its characteristics explicitly however by use of inheritance an object need only define those qualities that make it unique within its class it can inherit its general attributes from its parent thus inheritance makes it possible for one object to be a specific instance of a more general case thank you